Oh, Karen. Hey, Ben. What are you doing? I was doing some shopping for our recipes. Oh, what, what are you getting? Um, I was going to get some sesame oil and stuff. What are you getting? I am getting, there it is. I was looking up for that, goju chang. Have you, have you bought this before? Yeah, I use it to make, uh, what do you call it, kimchi. Of course. Well, we're going to buy this because we're going to make bibimbap. Oh, I'm looking forward to that. Well, let's get cooking. I love this uh, Korean chili paste, it's so yummy. So what are we making? We are, we are having a bibimbap party. Have a you bibim had one? I haven't had a bibimbap party. Well, we're gonna have the first one then. <laughs> bibim in Korean means mix. Yep. So you can have mixed bibim. Yep. And bap is rice. Rice, ah, mixed yep. rice. Mixed rice. So where do we start? We got all these yummy ingredients. It looks like we got zucchini, carrot, some uh, tofu. tofu. We've got. The, we've selected the the firm tofu today. We're going to fry up some of the ingredients. Yum, yeah. Um, we would normally use shiitake, but we're going to use something quite different, which is porcini, and it works. Yeah. Um, so it's like a fusion of Italian and Korean, then. Yeah, why they, not? Yeah. Why not? We're and, in Australia. And look at these mushrooms. We got those from uh, Damien Pike, the mushroom guy here, and they are so beautiful. It looks like a bouquet. It's like you could walk down the aisle and be a bride. <laughs> well, don't throw it over your shoulder. There's no one to catch it. <laughs> Maybe if I could get that going and yep. I'll cut some of these green onions. Korean um, food's really popular now, isn't it? I know, and but but actually I, I'm, I'm wondering when it started getting popular and what it is, because it's quite spicy. Yeah. And your Australian, typical Australian cuisine isn't isn't that spicy. I mean, it can be I, fiery. I, I think that's why it's becoming popular because a lot of people love chili. Yes, and, closet uh, chili lovers. Yes. Also, there's been a big influx of Korean students and people. Yeah. I see it down in uh, in the parks in Brisbane. A lot of the young Koreans get together and they use the electric barbecue plates and have their little um, Korean barbecue. Yes, they, they do. They put the foil down and it's the pork belly. And it smells delicious. It's, and you know what? I've actually walked up to one of these groups before and said, can I have some? And they, and they have. They're really, yeah. yeah, they're, yeah, really, yeah. they're really friendly and <laughs> inclusive. Yeah. Well, hurry up, Karen. I'm oh, hungry. Is that fan hot? Yeah. Okay, grab, uh, we're going to saute the carrots first. So um, you'll see that this a is bit probably of oil. a little like tiny, tiny. So what's your background, Karen? I am originally from Malaysia, which is a country sandwiched between Indonesia, Thailand, Singapore and Brunei, I suppose. Oh, yeah, you, so, so you're the meat in the Southeast Asian I am, sandwich. I am in the sandwich. Yeah, it's just all, in the, in the food work. that you get. Yeah, is, the food is amazing. I mean, and talk about fusion. That's where fusion started, I reckon. Okay, is that hot? Oh, yeah, that's really hot. hot. Okay. Okay. Yes, in please. With the carrots. In with all the carrots. So just a quick fry. A quick fry, please. Yeah. Okay, do you think that's enough? I think that's enough. I love it when someone's cooking for me. <laughs> well, we're sharing it. We're we sharing. are sharing. Okay. okay. What's next? Uh, let's do, while the pan's nice and hot, let's do the tofu. And that's going to be a um, little bit of flavoured. I know it, it doesn't matter that you haven't put the garlic in. We can just put a little... Oh, was like, I supposed to do that first? Please, yes. Just a little pinch, bit? Pinch, yep, yep, pinch. And it's fine, yep. And we want it nice and brown, okay. so that can take a bit of time. So you were born in Malaysia, Karen? Yeah, and um, born, um, raised, um, and I moved to Australia 21 years ago. My husband oh, wow. said, will you marry me? Let's go to Australia. And here I've been since. Oh, lucky Australia. <laughs> Thank you. How about you? I was born in the UK and my parents m moved here when I was five. And so my dad uh, worked in, uh, in mining. Oh yeah. And I grew up in the northwest of WA in a town called Port Hedland. I know Port Hedland. Oh, I all. Yes, that's right. And um, so for Thank a young you. kid, it was like a little Tom Sawyer sort of uh, adventure because it was such a wonderful place to grow up with uh, good fishing, beaches yeah. and you know, mud, mud flats and we just yes. had a ball. And, and, and apparently at the Is landscape... Okay? Yes, please. And the landscape's beautifully reddish brown is that yeah right? it's like um it's like the red dirt yeah so it's like desert meets the sea kind of thing wow it's really beautiful and beautiful um rivers as well yeah, like yeah, during yeah. the cyclone yeah. seasons they all flood and then you get uh really nice um billabongs and stuff yeah, that you yeah. can find in the middle of the uh, the, the outback yeah a little bit more oil in here i think a little bit and a pinch of garlic and because zucchini like my kids hate zucchini but i season it with a little bit of soy sauce maybe we can do that yep just like a dash and again just quickly cook quickly cook we want the crunch of the zucchini but not the rawness of it and i see you take the green off is that to hide the fact that it's a green yes. vegetable <laughs> 
Is that what you do? Yeah, <laughs> when the kids were younger, because they eat vegetables now, they're a little bit older. Yeah. But when they were younger, we used to grade everything and hide it in whatever we're, we're making, particularly like bolognese sauces. Oh, yeah, 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 good And you yeah. get good all hiding. the vegetables into them and they don't actually know. They go, but I hate zucchini, but you just ate it in your bolognese. <laughs> Is that Beautiful. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Go Am I doing on. a good job? You uh, are doing a good job. You could gonna... be a cook. Thanks, mate. <laughs> so I've, what I've done is I've Back separated... Yes, please. I've separated the enoki mushrooms. I love these. These are like your noodles when it's softened. So I'm just going to toss some in there and... Same, same? Same, same. Bit of that. You've done this before, haven't you? Yeah, You've one, done two, three, four, before. five times. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Chuck that in. And then... So these we really just want to do really quickly. Really right? quickly. Oh, good job, go. good job, good job. Thank you, thank you. This smells so good, I the know. mushrooms and the garlic. I Anything know. else I need to fry? No, I think that's it. Have you used this before? Yes, I have. Okay. I use it to make uh, kimchi. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So when you, you make your own kimchi? Yeah, it's so easy, so easy. Bought kimchi before and it's fizzy and it's like... Well, it's still fermenting, that's fine. It's fine? Yeah. Okay, and I hear it's good for the gut. Very good, because it's full of probiotics. Okay, yeah, so I've loosened that a little bit. And it smells amazing yeah. because I've added um, the sesame, sesame oil. oil. And now we can uh, take a break and come back with our piping hot rice. Come join us after the break and we're going to have a Bibi Map party. Yeah, baby. So let's have our Korean bibimbap party. party. So we have a piping hot bowl of rice here. And bibimbap, as we said earlier, means bibim, mix, bap, which is rice. rice. Yeah. So the idea oh, no. is we're going to put all that. It's a deconstructed rice salad, if you like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, and this is really kind of popular in uh, Korea? It is the dish in Korea. Yeah, it's really popular in Korea. This is very popular. A kimchi. Yeah. <laughs> Can I put some mushrooms Please, in? Yep. And put as much or as little kimchi as you want. How's my uh, chopstick skills? I was going to say I'm testing your chopstick skills and they're pretty good. Um, I love sesame seeds and again, wow. it gives a crunch. It's just beautiful. So I'm just going to scatter and make it look very pretty. It looks so pretty like this, you But know? not yet because we've still got the, you know, lovely greens. If you, like, if you like a little bit of extra kick, that's chilli powder. Let's go for it. Yeah, yeah. a bit of extra kick. Uh, we also want to place these beautiful radishes. Okay, and, and then... What about gonna, when do we put our egg on? We're going to make, so, a, okay, we're gonna make a space. I'm so here. keen to get my I egg I know you are right in the centre where the piping pot rice is, please. Okay, <laughs> so this is the tricky part. I'm, just, I'm going to be quite generous because I love spiciness. So we're going to drizzle it and just put it like that. You could serve it on the side too if someone didn't want the chilli paste all over it. That's right, that's right. But this is um, this gives a very different flavour again and it's fermented chilli paste and it's a bit of, you know, with fermented food, it's wine, it's got a yeah. alcoholic taste. Look, but it's not really hot either, no, is it? No, it's not really hot either. And so to serve, you serve it like that and to eat it, you just stir the hot piping hot well, rice. You do the bibi, it. you better bibi along there. Go on, bibi. Let's bibi, let's bibi together. You're going Gangnam Style. Okay, so we're back in Korea. How come you got metal ones and I've got the wooden ones? Well, I was going to talk about them. So these are perfect when you're doing a Korean barbecue and these don't get cooked. Oh, you don't catch on fire. See, I, my, my chopsticks will get shorter and shorter. They will, they? yeah, yeah. And then and then you just flick, toss them so over. So let's bibby. So this is piping hot rice. And the idea is we do a stir and the egg yolk will create this gravy onto your rice, coating that and the flavours of the in whatever ingredients you've chosen to yep. put in. And we can okay. go don't, for don't, it. Yeah, you bibby, you bibby. I'm bibbing. I want to so, see how you bibby. So we go like that and we kind of toss it around. And the idea is a one dish meal, whatever you want to have. And you toss it around and see the egg yolk. Mm. You bibby so well. Bibim. 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 You bibim. Bibim is stirring. Bibim. It's the bibim. verb. Yeah, bibim. Yeah, yeah. And we eat the bap, which is the rice. Bibim bap. We learn a new thing every day. We do. I love this. is my favourite. Oh. You know, Kim Don't you eat that all then? I will have to separate them. <laughs> Make sure it's shared. Alrighty. Let's oh, wow. taste. That looks good. It smells amazing. Mmm. <laughs> you can do this at home. So simple. Yeah. And just pick whatever you, you like and I bon appetit. I can't get anything. Here we go. Right. 
We need music. We need music in the background. Gangnam style. <laughs> High five on that one. Yum. I've been all the time now. <laughs> Have a party.